Vivo's X100S is the most unique model in their flagship series this year. As we unbox and chat, we see the classic square lunchbox packaging, which is the official phone of the 2024 UEFA European Championship, with a one-time sealed Zeiss blue badge. The packaging feels quite premium, so let's take a closer look. The included family charger is 120 watts, and it supports PD standard for better compatibility, which deserves praise. The case has different textures inside and out, very understated, and the plastic sealing film is also one time, preventing the possibility of repackaging. Let's examine the main unit. Under the light, the first notable feature is its flat screen design. Many were hoping for a flat screen in the X100 series, and now here it is. This is particularly friendly for those who want to apply tempered glass. If you look closely at the screen's edges, you'll notice a very slight curve, which improves the grip. The corner radius is moderate, giving the device a rather robust look. The sides are crafted with a metallic matte finish, which feels great to touch, and the top has been spliced for added design. The microphone is on the same side as the SIM card slot, so be careful not to get them mixed up. Let's move to the back panel. The grey AG matte finish harmonizes with the frame, giving off a very subdued appearance. The camera section features Vivo's distinctive spiral design, with a slightly narrower top and a broader bottom, marking the lens parameters with four holes and three cameras. The periscope lens assembly is centered on the right, flanked by the Zeiss blue badge with corresponding sensors below. From the side, despite having a periscope assembly, the device isn't considered thick. A watch-like time indicator encircles the camera ring, adding rich detail. With the case on, the phone feels even more discreet. Although it's a periscope-equipped model, which often raises concerns about weight, this device is quite comfortable to hold. Let's check the weight, it's 2 out of 3 grams, which is definitely on the lighter side compared to many other flagship models. We're already familiar with the Origin OS technical system, so let's move on to a lighter background. The device has a relatively high screen-to-body ratio, with even bezels on three sides and a slightly wider chin, creating a unified and harmonious visual experience. Let's look at the display part and the screen composition. Let's look at the second special place, is the configuration of this machine. The running score of 93,000 before the launch of Dimensity 93,000 Plus is quite exaggerated. So what about the running score this time? It goes a step further, 2.25 million, which is still a running score in an unlimited state of daily use. Compared with this year's flagship models, sure enough, the little Prince of MediaTek's running score also performed well in Geekbench. Let's briefly pass the game part. Arena of Valor has no pressure at all on a straight line. Genshin, the same as a straight line, no pressure at all. Considering this is a standard straight screen model, at least if you use it to play games, it is quite suitable. The point is that after the Genshin is completed, the temperature on the front and back is not high and the performance is quite satisfactory. This time the Vivo X100S has also undergone changes and upgrades in the imaging part. The rear has three cameras, and it is Zeiss's TNSI optical lens. In addition to the ultra-wide-angle main camera, there is also a flagship-level periscope telephoto. Let's take a look at the 50-megapixel photosensitive bionic main camera, the 1.4 1.9 outsole, and the 1.57 aperture support AI shooting. As for the whole series, it has a distinct texture, and naturally the three color imaging styles are different. In the main camera scene during the day, let's compare the models of competitors. It should be said that the differences between each company are relatively obvious. As for Vivo, the brightness of the picture is relatively high, and the main body of the building is also relatively prominent, and the color is rich and textured. Zoom in to see the details of the roof tiles and wall tiles. It is very clear, and the sky is also very pure. Looking at another set of sunsets, the light sensitive ability of Vivo at dusk has been verified again. Whether it is the center or edge of the city, it is quite clear. The saturation of the color part is also relatively high. As for Apple, it is obviously more realistic. Let's look at some double proofs. Whose style do you prefer? Next, let's take a look at this 64 megapixel Zeiss Super Telephoto. First, take a look at the triple proofs. The light expression on Vivo's side is quite vivid. Contrast has been increased, hasn't it? Indeed, the contrast is striking with higher tolerance and richer details displayed. In the same dusk lighting, Zeiss's telephoto advantages are immediately apparent. Of course, as before, since overall brightness is boosted, the orange hues of the sunset may become slightly washed out. Let's switch to 10x telephoto. Vivo performs well, though it seems slightly inferior to Apple. Finally, at the maximum 100x digital zoom, Vivo's image appears somewhat better. Here, after manually forcing the zoom to a uniform level, Vivo's text appears more sharpened, and overall, it's indeed clearer. 
As for colors, they are well preserved. Evidently, this Vivo X100S with Zeiss Super Telephoto can compete with the flagship image quality. Now, looking at some stylized samples, such as ultra long distance shots of sunsets, they are clearer and brighter with rich and vivid color styles. Of course, lens flare occurs in such scenarios, but it's less prominent in Vivo's captured sunsets. This telephoto lens also supports macro photography, like capturing transparent and three dimensional water droplets on plants, clarifying the veins of leaves against progressively blurred backgrounds. In this comparison, Vivo's background blur is superior, making flowers appear more three dimensional. Upon further magnification, the pistils of the flowers are clearly visible. Moving from scenery to portraits, which Vivo always emphasizes, this time the colors appear natural with some beautification applied. Zooming in, the facial details and skin texture are standout features. Moreover, the treatment of hair strands at the top of the head is quite good. Take a look at another set of telephoto portraits and let me know which one you prefer. I particularly enjoy the new portrait mode melded with AI visuals. A single photo yields a 4G portrait after immediate AI processing. From the blooming of spring to the flurry of snow, effortlessly switch and experience the rotation of the seasons. And it's not just about changing the background. Take a closer look at the seats we photographed. In different seasons, the realism of falling petals, leaves and snowflakes is quite remarkable. Now let's take a look at the night scenes where the X100S's super-sensitive bionic main camera shines with stronger advantages during the night. Starting with white balance control, it captures colors of buildings that are pleasing and notably distinct compared to other models. When switched to the twice Vivo Zeiss T anti-reflective coating, the overall image is brighter and even the dark tree branches details aren't lost. Looking at the night telephoto shots, which are also three times, the Vivo's colors have a slight greenish-yellow tint. It handles highlights well, avoiding overexposure. And finally, let's talk about the ultra-wide-angle shots. Who do you prefer? This year's Vivo X100S has also been upgraded with a brand new feature, which is the street photography mode with a new UI interface. By swiping up, you can enter a new world where all parameters are adjustable, giving the feeling of holding a DSLR. With the built-in five common focal lengths for street photography, combined with stark black and white and natural colors, you can take professional street photography shots easily. You can also choose the shutter style and even customize the shutter signature, greatly enhancing the ceremonial feeling of your photography. After seeing these sample comparisons, I find the Vivo X100S has a distinct style in terms of image presentation, with higher color accuracy and contrast, and an overall brighter picture. In short, the images look very beautiful, which can decrease the amount of post-editing, enabling pretty results with just a simple snap. In terms of imaging configurations, it truly tops everything. Whether it's the super-sensitive Bionic main camera or the Zeiss Telephoto, whether for casual snapshots or professional imaging creation, it handles them all well. As a straight screen model, it can be considered a benchmark product for mobile imagery. The key point is that it's not very heavy, Holding it comes with little effort, and it's easy for both men and women to handle. All right, it's time for a beauty comparison again. Let's promptly contrast the appearance and design of this device with these flagship models.